Hi, I'm Anna Aldman of Anna's Awesome Applique Designs. Today's video is going to show you how to do the technique of quilting in the hoop and trapunto stitches. I'm going to use the June block of the month design and specifically I'm going to use the bonus block one which I'm showing here to show you exactly how to do that. I'll walk through how to hoop the hoop and how to do, get prepared for the trapunto stitches. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the embroidery batting that we're going to use as stabilizer for the design. So you're going to have your hoop, you've got your bottom hoop and you have your top hoop. You're going to lay your embroidery batting and that's actually what it's called it's by Floriani and it has stabilizer features in it. And that's very important to make sure you get the right product. There are other products out there that have stabilizing features and for specifically for embroidery machines. Your regular um, everyday batting that your long arm quilter uses or that you buy in your local sewing store is not the right thing. You have to use embroidery batting that has a stabilizer in it because you don't use anything else but this embroidery batting for your stabilizer. You can go ahead and put your top hoop in and press it down. And I'm going to go ahead and pull from every direction inward to make sure I have a snug hoop. I'm going to turn as much as I can on the thumb with my thumb and forefinger to tighten the hoop. I'm gonna make sure everything is still tight. Now I know that my strength is not as tight as it needs to be. I've got this little tool that allows me to tighten that hoop further. And you can see I can tighten it up. One, two, three, four, five, six more times until I can't turn that anymore. You want a tight hoop, because if you don't have a tight hoop, that inner hoop can easily top, pop out. And again, you just want to make sure you've got a nice tight hoop and you're ready to go. So now I have the hoop with the embroidery batting hooped. I put my background fabric, which is the light blue fabric, on top and I've used the basting function on my embroidery machine to secure that background fabric to the embroidery batting that's in the hoop. The next step of this design is actually adding another layer of embroidery batting that is used for the trapunto stitches. And you can see it here in white. So what's going to occur is you'll have a placement stitch to show you where to place that embroidery batting. You place the embroidery batting on top and then it's going to do the tack down stitch. And once you do the tack down stitch you're going to trim all the way around that white embroidery batting and then you're all set to start doing the applique part. Now what I have here is I've shown you two colors that I've done with the applique fabric that would go on top of this white. And if you look real close, you can see that there's actually trapunto stitches that are part on top of the applique fabric. And these trapunto stitches then, if you feel it, you can feel a little bit of indentation and it gives you that depth of dimension of trapunto stitches. I have just finished stitching out the applique portions of all of this design and obviously you can see that the additional layer of embroidery batting is covered and you can see that there are trapunto stitches in the flowers and in the leaves. So at this point what I'm ready to do on this design is get it ready for quilting. So we've completed the, the applique portion and we've completed the trapunto. To get it ready for quilting you're going to turn the hoop over and you're going to place the backing fabric on top of the hoop and gently lay it down like that. Then you're going to flip that back over and you're going to pin in the four corners of the hoop to secure that backing fabric on there. I always pin from the front side because if I pin from the back side they can easily get caught into the embroidery machine and that's not a good thing to have happen. So I'm going to go ahead and pin all these four corners. Make sure everything is still nice and flat back there. The other thing I will do with the embroidery machine is change my thread color on the bobbin to match whatever I'm going to use for the top. So whatever quilting I'm going to do, um, whatever thread color I'm going to use for the quilting, I'm going to change my bobbin thread. You'll also notice at this point that the cover stitches are not done on the applique portion. The technique that I use is that the first thing that's going to occur now that you have the backing fabric is you're going to have do the quilting first 
And then you're going to come back and do the cover stitches for each of the applique shapes. So that's the sequence on these, these designs and how that's going to work. tip I'd like to share about this quilting in the hoop and that is when you trim your blocks you're going to notice you get a lot of these strips left over of the embroidery batting. I actually go to the my sewing machine but these little ends together and join them with like a zigzag stitch or whatever you have that's convenient on there to pull them together make sure they're still laying flush. It's a great way to use those scraps for the trapunto stitches uh, in future blocks. So I wanted to share that with you. I hope you're enjoying the, these techniques. I also have a technique video on my website for joining strips which you would use to join these quilted blocks. So have fun and let me know what you think.